Okay. All right, we're finally here, we're ready. Let's do this. Which Vitamix to buy in 2019? We have seven strategies that you can use to help you make this decision. Number one, can you see that? Okay, that says L-I-N-Y. So life is no yoke. Here's what that means. This is what we tell our friends and family when they call us and say, hey, we wanna get a Vitamix, which one should we get? So we, it's polar. You're either gonna get the best. So the A3500, it's the quietest and the most feature rich, the best looking or the best best. So that plus a 48 ounce container, the ultimate setup, that's what we have. Or on the very other end of the spectrum over here, you're gonna get a, a deal. You're either gonna get uh, the E310, that around 300 bucks, or you're gonna get a certified reconditioned standard or standard with programs. One of the deals that's on our Vitamix deals page. Just go get one of those. They're all great, they can all do all the things. So get the best or get the best deal. But for a lot of people, there's an in-between. So let's talk about the in-between, okay? <laughs> Pick by series. By now you know that there are three series of Vitamix that, from which to choose. Smart system, classic, and space saving. So why would you get a smart system? You get a smart system because of the eight ounce container, exclusive. Because of the dishwasher safe containers, exclusive. The clear lids that click on. You get it because of the little added safety feature which if you knock over the container, the machine stops. You'd pick a smart system Vitamix because of the future containers. Vitamix is making the new containers exclusive for the smart system machines. There's gonna be a food processor a container. It's a rumor, but there's gonna be one. While smart system, you want the longest guaranteed life. Smart system Vitamix come with a 10 year full warranty, free shipping both ways, anything, they'll fix it. You want a smart system because of the digital timer. You want a smart system because of the connectivity with the smart app and scale. You want to be able to find recipes on the app and then go to the scale and have them beam over the programs to your machine. That's smart system only. Well, what about classic? Why would you want classic? You want nothing digital. You want old school knobs and switches and you want the rubber handle and the rubber top. You want no extra connectivity, no extra digitalness, just the thing that made Vitamix what it is today, the classic the Vitamix, Vitamix machine. machine. Or perhaps you want the space saving. Space saving are the little formerly known S series. They have the smallest footprint. They come with a 40 ounce and a 20 ounce to go container. And those are also dishwasher safe. Because you've probably already decided, yeah, I want classic or yeah, I want smart system. So let's talk about each of those which is the best from each of those, okay? Smart system, the best smart system for most people is the A2500. It's got just enough features, it's got all the smart system functionality and features without anything extra. Now, what if you want the best smart system you can get? That's the A3500 with brush stainless finish. That's the quietest smart system, that's the most functionality, that's the Vitamix that we have, that we use, that we love, that's the one you're gonna get. Now, if you want smart system and you're on a budget, you're either gonna get the A2300, which is the most basic smart system, or you're gonna get a certified reconditioned smart system. Some of you are gonna be like, oh, I don't want a smart system, I want classic. Tell me which classic one to get. Great. The best classic Vitamix for most people is the 5200. Tall, narrow container, two switches, dial, it does everything really well, and it's a classic. It hasn't changed for like 20 years. What about the best of the best? I want, I want a classic Vitamix, and I want the best you can get. That's the Vitamix Pro 750. That's the quietest classic Vitamix. That's the one that we used to have. You can get a brush stainless finish. It comes with five pre-programmed settings. You can also control variable speed. Pro 750 the best classic Vitamix that you can get. Now, if you want a classic Vitamix and you're on a budget, a couple good options. The E310, narrow, 48 ounce container, no frills, really basic, awesome. Or, or you get one of the certified reconditioned models, the certified reconditioned standard or the certified reconditioned standard with programs. Okay, space saving. The best space saving for most people is the S30. That's the most basic, the best smart 
uh, space saving that you can get is the S55. That's a brush stainless finish. It's got some programs. The best space saving for on a budget is uh, any of the certified reconditioned space saving. Those are actually a really good deal. How are you doing? Are you hanging in there? Are you sticking with me? Quick water break, okay? The third strategy for picking a Vitamix in 2019, the best for. What's the best one for this? What's the best for a young family? Someone who's gonna be making, uh, well, let me ask you this. Are you making baby food? Because if yes, you should get a smart system. The eight ounce containers are exclusive to smart system. Also, are you planning to phase out your food processor? We don't use our food processor anymore. We only use our Vitamix. Smart systems are great for that. The wide container is great for chopping. It can't shred, but it can chop. And then like I sort of alluded to before, there's gonna be a food processor attachment for when the next holiday season comes around. Someone wants to get you a gift, smart system. The best Vitamix if you live alone. That's a, an E310. Comes with that 48 ounce narrow container. It's the most versatile. It's big enough to make fairly big batches and small enough to make small smoothies and smaller portions of nut butters. If it's just you, go for the E310. Just be done and get that one. The best Vitamix if you're into counting calories, a smart system for sure. Those machines connect to the smart scale and app and you can alter recipes by calories really cool and a really useful tool if that's how you're managing your your body and your and your weight loss and going on your journey counting calories get a smart system for sure this is such a common one what's the best vitamix for smoothies and juices definitely one with a narrow container if you're only making smoothies and juices this is what they use in all the quick serve restaurants, all the smoothie shops, all the juice shops. They all have the narrow container. That's the best for making smoothies and juices. Now, if you're going to be making more than smoothies and juices, narrow container is probably not the best. If you're going to be making batters or doing any kind of chopping, like making our detox salad, if you're going to be making pancakes and waffles, things like that, the wide container, uh, so the Pro 750 or the any of the smart system, that's gonna be a better pick. What's the best Vitamix for nut butters? This is a tie between smart system and classic. With smart system machines, you have to make a larger batch of nut butters than you do in some of the classic machines that have the narrow container. However, the wide containers are easier to get the nut butter out of and to clean. What's the best Vitamix for the visually impaired? Yeah, believe it or not, we actually get this question. That's the Vitamix E310. It's there's it's all tactile, so switches, dial. Uh, the best Vitamix for grandma? Definitely the E310. It's really easy to clean, manageable size, she'll love it. The best Vitamix for a college student? Go for a certified reconditioned classic. It's a great fit for them. Certified reconditions are awesome. And that's what you want. The best Vitamix for super mom. The mom that's in the kitchen, that's making everything, that is exploring a smart system for sure. This is the system that on which you can add different containers. You have that eight ounce container. You can explore with the smart scale and app. Super mom is gonna want a smart system. We are on number four. Ah, features. You want countertop friendly? We recommend that your Vitamix lives on your counter, that it's always there as a constant reminder. And if you want to stack the container on top of the base and you want it to fit under your cabinets, find one that's countertop friendly. Or just say you're going to put the container next to the base. That's totally great too. If you want dishwasher safe, get a smart system. Or, or space saving, I guess, but we, we prefer a smart system for sure. If you want one of those eight ounce containers, Get a smart system. Do you want a digital timer, one that you can set? Get a smart system. If you want no digital timer at all, get a classic. If you want one of the quietest Vitamix model, get one of the best you can get from either smart system or classic. So that's an A3500, that's right here, or a Pro 750. For whatever reason, if it's the brushed stainless metal finish, or if it's something on the inside in the motor, these models are 
by far the least loud. If you want the model that's easiest to clean, it's debatable. Smart system machines you can put in the dishwasher, the containers, not the machine. Classic containers you cannot put in the dishwasher. However, we never use our dishwasher to clean our Vitamix containers. We use them more often than we run our dishwasher. But here's what I'll say. All the full-size Vitamix containers, the, the blades are fixed to the container. So it makes it really easy to clean. You don't have to get inside. And, so you can't really go wrong either way. You can clean them in a breeze. It's warm water, soap, 30 seconds, and they're clean. If you made like a really sticky recipe, like like our like snack bites or almond butter, sometimes you have to use a little bit of elbow grease. The uh, running the cleaning cycle, a traditional cleaning cycle, won't actually get it all the way clean. But like by and large, the full size containers are all incredibly easy to clean. <sighs> We're almost done. I think the baby just woke up, so we really have to get through this. <laughs> Five, six, and seven are gonna go really fast. Okay. Five. Look, I don't need to explain this one. What machine do you like the look of? Envision one of the Vitamix machines sitting on your counter. Which one do you see there? Which one do you keep coming back to? Which one is your eye most drawn to? Okay, number six and seven, and then we're done with this thing. What does that say? Oh, story. Hey, here. This is cool. So you're looking to get a Vitamix, and you're not gonna keep it a secret. What's the story that you're gonna tell people about the Vitamix you just purchased? What are you gonna say? Are you gonna say something like, I, I got this awesome deal from a online mom and pop Vitamix shop? Or are you gonna say something like, I got the least loud and best looking Vitamix and I love it, check it out. I'm learning how to use it on YouTube. Or maybe you'll say something like, we finally took the plunge, we got a Vitamix for our family, we didn't get the best one, we didn't get the cheapest one, we kind of got one right in the middle of the road. It's all we need. It's going to last us forever. Whatever it is, what's your story that you're going to tell people, that you're going to tell yourself? Figure that out and then work backwards and figure out which, which model to get. And finally, finally, the last strategy for picking your Vitamix in 2019. <laughs> the regret test. I love this one. This is the best one. Imagine you just placed your order for your Vitamix. Which model will you regret not getting? If there's a model that comes to mind, that's the one you should get. If you're thinking, well, I'm not gonna regret it, I got the one I really wanted, then you made the right decision. And after all this, if, you, if you're still stuck, if you still can't make a decision, email us, call us, leave a comment. That's how we spend most of our working days. Uh, we'll listen to your story. We'll figure out exactly what you need. We'll make a personalized recommendation. We'll give you a couple choices to make and you'll be good. You'll finally be able to take the plunge. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, definitely do that. If you appreciate this video, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one. I think we covered everything. If not, Look who it is. All right, Ezzy, say this. And come in, say, definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up if you appreciate this video. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Are you serious? You are so cute. <laughs>
car, so we're gonna get dressed and then get this thing started. <laughs> Okay, so our annual which Vitamix video is usually pretty epic. So we gotta go in with a few assumptions. You know, this is how we make a living. So you're gonna use our links to buy your Vitamix. Or from Henry, or from the Blender Babe. There's no other Vitamix affiliate that you should buy from. You know that our links are in the description of this video and also all of our website. You know we spend a lot of our workday doing calls and emails helping people pick, right? You know we'll beat any deal you find, right? And you know we are so, so, so excited for you. And you, you are ready to make a decision. So pour yourself a tall glass of water, settle in. Let's figure out which Vitamix to buy in 2019. You know that there's 30 day returns, so upgrades, downgrades, exchanges are, are good. Free shipping both ways. You know that. Oh yeah, and we only saw the machines that you can find on the Vitamix website. So anything that you saw from a Costco rep, Venturist, we don't do those. Hey, welcome to the Which Vitamix to Buy in 2019 video. I'm Lenny Gale. I'm Shalva Gale, and I'm supposed to be in this video, but the baby's crying, so. She'll be back. <laughs> Let's get this thing started. We'll use these in a little bit. Hey, all right, we're finally here, we're ready. Let's do this.